Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys some more uh, D2 mods. I did play D2 mods probably about like a year ago. I think we were playing Needing XL. But today I wanted to go into something that's a little bit more closer to vanilla D2 since we have the Diablo 2 remaster coming out resurrected. Not really sure when. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about Project Diablo 2, which just recently had uh, its new season, I think like three to four days ago, maybe five days ago. Um, recently I just stopped playing Hero Siege for this season, mainly because there's just a lot of server problems, auction house problems, and a bunch of other stuff. I had a lot of fun, but that we're going to wait till next season for that. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about Project Diablo and personally why I'm at least going to be playing it for a couple of days. So, number one, the really cool thing about this game is if you've never played Diablo 2, you can kind of get a somewhat vanilla Diablo 2 experience with a lot of enhanced quality of life additions. So I'm going to go over just a couple of additions and then talk about my character. So some of the nice things are like ex expanded stash, I think expanded inventory, your runes can stack, your uh, gems can stack, all very, very nice stuff. For people like me who hate having a bunch of different websites open, you have a D2 stats breakdown right over here. Um, this is basically something you need for understanding a lot of character min-maxing. In my opinion, a lot of just basic stuff. Like, as an example, your cast rate breakpoints, your hit rate breakpoints. You can also very easily set up a loot filter. It's all done on the launcher. It took me about three minutes to install this game and get it up and running, mainly because I already had Diablo 2. So, with that being said, to talk about my character a little bit, I don't know if you guys know this or not, I'm a pretty big Diablo 2 noob. I grew up playing Warcraft 3 custom games, RuneScape, and free-to-play MMOs, not really D2. So, I started as Holy Bolt, and Holy Bolt was way too overpowered. Um, a lot of people go Holy Bolt, and it's just something I didn't want to do, I kind of wanted to go away from the meta. So, like a dumbass, I decided to spec everything into Holy Fire because I thought it would be kind of like Righteous Fire. Um, only to find out it does absolute abysmal damage for AoE. It does literally nothing. So I had to semi-convert my character since I used my only respec uh, at the moment into a Zeal character because Zeal basically gives me a ton of attack speed. So at the moment I'm leveling as like a scuffed budget elemental Zealer. Um, <laughs> which is the best that we have at the moment. So uh, TLDR, Holy Fire gives us a ton of flat fire. We scale the flat fire with zeal, which has very fast attack speed, uh, and we use that to do damage. When we get into the next difficulty, I'm most likely going to drop holy fire and go into holy shock, because I would just imagine it gives a lot more damage. Um, I know you can't really see properly from my webcam, but it's basically holy fire, holy freeze, and then holy shock. Then I'm not really sure where we're going to convert and go. We'll figure it out as we go, but that's basically what we're doing right now. So as for my gear, I've got a Steel Flail. I don't know why, it just gives very fast attack speed. That's pretty much about all it does for me right now. It's got the increased attack speed on it, which is pretty nice. Um, I've got a Stealth Chest Piece. I've got gloves with increased attack speed. I've got boots with 20% movement speed. Um, I've got a shield, which is basically Ancient's Pledge for a bunch of resistances. Uh, I've got Lore as my helmet, and that's pretty much about it. I did, however, get a sick shield off of, we're doing bail runs right now. Um, I got a it's Blood Aegis. It gives plus two Paladin all skills, faster hit recovery, um, two life, you know, pretty sick life roll, all res. And then I used an Orb of Corruption, or whatever they're called in this one, a World Stone Shard. And I corrupted two extra sockets, which means I can put perfect diamonds in it. Um, so these are flawless diamonds and they give all res. Perfect Diamond gives even more all res, so it's basically an Ancient's Pledge with faster hit rate and plus all skills. Which is really cool, I'm super excited for this. Um, this will be getting at 42, we are currently 33. With that being said, let's go jump into what I was gonna go do. We are farming him for some, basically everything, because we don't do much damage, but we're having fun. We're actually a, a kind of tanky! Actually, probably not, because... I can't even face tank the mobs that come out of here. There's a one specific pack that's very spooky. I have to say, one of the biggest quality of life improvements I've noticed is that melee gets built in melee splash, which... Ooh, a double axe. 
it gets built-in melee splash, which actually makes it feel really good. Like, here's an example. A pack is about to spawn. We're going to whip it with our zeal mace. Smack, smack, smack. You can kind of see the melee splash. And also, not only is the the um, melee splash added in... Ooh, salvation. One point for synergy. Awesome. But the other nice part about it is that the hit range actually feels really good too. So, like, I could be back here and hit this guy. Okay, well, my Merc killed him. I don't know what... It, actually, Holy Fire killed him. But yeah, you can... You're basically... Your hits connect from a little bit further than natural melee range, which kind of removes a lot of, like, the clunk part. So I'm really happy about that. Now I have this really annoying poison on me for the next 10 minutes. Ooh, ghost armor. There's an antidote on the ground? Oh, there is! skimmed over your best item. Oh yeah. I, I got myself a double MF. Fortuitous amulet of luck. Not gonna lie, I put this amulet on, I get like two to three times the legendary drops. Okay, this is the pack I can't face tank. I think we're- No, 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 I'm, st I'm stuck! I literally can't move! Oh god. Oh, I tanked it. That's a good thing I leveled a lot. No rib, no rib, not yet. Wait, maybe? No, may maybe? I couldn't move, man. Well, I was literally like I like a dumbass stood right where they spawned, so... Okay, um, boom, 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 boom. That's bad. I actually have no, uh... Oof, I have no, uh... Rejuve pots. That could be very bad, actually. Merc, get over here! What are you doing? Merc, why are you walking into the pillar? Okay, he came to me, good. We'll get him, boys. Don't worry. We're gonna get him. Okay? This character will become a god. You just... It, you know, the longer it takes, the, the better it feels. That's what I tell myself. I swear, every time I fight this guy, I do less damage. I'm not really sure what's up with that. <laughs> uh. Almost got him! Almost! Almost! Amulet and longsword? What is this loot, dude? Is it time to upgrade the MF amulet? What do we got, dude? Jackhard Kane! What do we got? What, what did I find? I rolled minimum damage? What? Sarah... Sarakin's... Saracen's Chance Amulet? It looks kind of cool. I like that enhanced damage. Wait, is that like a damage multiplier? Why is it 50%? <laughs> I got scammed, dude. What is this? Melee attacks deal splash? No. And what is this? Hell Plague? Hell Plague plus two to fire skills? Huh. Yeah, I was gonna say, it. Look, it's like a damage multiplier for Fizz, and it gives all res? That's pretty sick. 
You could Vol Orb the Amulet? On a minimum roll? Well, I'm not really sure. Anyway, uh, if you guys are curious about the game, um, I'll, I'll put a description in the comments for you guys, and I'll just put it up here. So... Oh, you know, channel points. How did that even happen? What? Okay, so this is the launcher I was talking about. So on the launcher, super simple to play the game. Uh, it's also super simple to set up the filter. All you do is you click item filter properties. And if you want to know what filter I'm using, it's very good for beginners like myself. I'm just using the Wolfie Wolfie. Um, there's a lot of other filters in here you could, you know, mess around with and try. You literally just double click it. It automatically installs and you're done. And that's it. Uh, also, this is the, where is my actual Project Diablo 2? Click. Here is the Project Diablo 2 website where the only thing I had to do was literally click play for free, set up an account. Make sure you make your account on the website as well. So when you make your account here, you're going to have to make another account for in-game. Do not make the account in-game, in-game. It'll tell you to come make it on the website. It'll all be explained when you start playing. Then you have the download button here, and it's actually pretty active. There's 10,000 people online, so it's pretty nice. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys have been enjoying yourself. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below, and feel free to give me some advice. As I said, I'm a D2 noob myself, so this is a very fun, fresh experience for me. Take care. Have a wonderful time. I'll see you guys all later. Don't forget, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash pox. Have a great one, everybody.